So month after month, week after week, tons of speculation running wild, specifically in the last couple of weeks, where Marvel and Sony just kind of came out there and delivered a ton of Spider-Man things. Whether it was for Homecoming or Sony coming out there and absolutely blowing people's minds saying, hey guys, Venom, oh, Venom is back on, don't worry, here's a release date. Hey guys, Black Cat, Silver Sable, don't worry, it's coming. Here's possibly when it's shooting and when we're looking to put it out. It's kind of been a crazy time and you got to start wondering, how the hell is all this happening? Well, we now have official confirmation of what is happening coming from sources close to both of the parties. So essentially, Sony sunk a ton of money into the Amazing Spider-Man universe. Uh, and I mean tons of money. Andrew Garfield still contracted for three years after the Amazing Spider-Man 2. And of course, in 2016, we were supposed to get the third one, but that never happened due to a falling out between the two parties. Well, good news for Andrew Garfield, Amazing Spider-Man fans. After he found huge success with films like Hacksaw Ridge, Sony and Andrew started talking again. And it's being confirmed that an official deal has been reached and that the Amazing Spider-Man universe will continue in a different fashion. Andrew Garfield will not be back to star in Amazing Spider-Man films because that would negate the deal that Sony has with Marvel. But the Venom movie, the Silver Sable and Black Cat movie, and future movies that are seen as Spider-Man extensions outside of the MCU will all serve as sequels to The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So in a way... Sony doesn't have to pay Andrew Garfield for the rest of their life for him not being Spider-Man because they were going to have to do that anyway considering he had multiple movies lined up that they scrapped so they were going to have to pay him royalties forever. Now he can come back, fulfill his contract, get a huge share of money, still get paid for the rest of his life and be attached to this and Sony gets the good grace of the fans of The Amazing Spider-Man by seeing that character appear. Now, obviously, how they're going to handle the character, who the hell knows? He's probably just going to be CG in a few scenes here or there, and they're going to have Andrew Garfield voice him. But hey, it's better than nothing, and at least Venom now and Black Cat Silver Sable can actually have a Spider-Man that exists within their universe. So I guess you can have your cake and eat it too, right? Awesome news, guys.